My name is Jean-Charles Rocher. I'm from the University of Geneva, and I will uh, introduce you to the project New Approaches to Sustainable Finance. And in fact, I'm very happy to be associated with uh, Joël because I realized that our topics are closely related, and she's also based in Geneva. So one of the merits of this meeting is already uh, there for us, that is, uh, allow for collaborations uh, on topics which are very similar. So in, as, she, as Joël has uh, shown, uh, it's very difficult for small companies that uh, promote green projects to get access to finance. So the main topic of our uh, research project will be to how can we improve the access to finance of uh, green projects and green uh, companies. So we are all based in Geneva. We have collaboration with people in uh, Copenhagen, but also importantly with the Geneva Sustainable Finance, which is an association of all actors, private and public, uh, uh, who, who are active in the domain of sustainable finance in Geneva. And to, to, to reach uh, our objective, we will use a combination of uh, economic theory, empirical studies, and also case study, as I will show you in, in a minute. I will not speak very long because I have my colleagues here who are going to also uh, present their own part of the, of the work. So let me briefly uh, talk about uh, the sub-project number one, which is on the certification the financing and the certification of green projects. One of the difficulties for companies to get access to, uh, to find green companies to get access to finance is the phenomenon that has been called greenwashing. That is companies that pretend to be green in order to attract investment for, uh, from uh, uh, environmental um, sensitive investors, but who actually don't invest in uh, green projects. So you need to certify the quality of those projects. And this is difficult because you can have uh, private companies, rating agencies that do that for, for a profit, but you can also have NGOs that do that for other objectives. And this is exactly what we're going to, to analyze in this first project. Uh, let me skip immediately to the last project, and then I will uh, give the floor to my colleagues, which is uh, the more practical part, which is how to develop a uh, sustainable stock exchange in uh, Geneva. So w one way to give access to finance is to uh, allow companies to issue stocks and to trade those stocks in a stock exchange. But it's very difficult to get access to the classical stock exchange, in particular because of the size of the companies that are involved, and also because of the, what I was uh, alluding to, the certification process. So in collaboration with, uh, Swiss, uh, with the Geneva Sustainable Finance and also uh, Lombard Lombardodier, we're going to uh, see how we can uh, create in Switzerland what could be called the NASDAQ of social businesses. That is, in particular, produce a social rating system that would be based on market assessment rather than on proprietary rating system. So the benefit for Switzerland will be immense. And in particular, it will lead to a growth crea a job creation, innovation, and also further specialization of the financial sector in the high growth area of sustainable finance. So let me give the floor to Professor Gibson, who is my colleague at Geneva. Yes, so uh, one of the big challenges with uh, financing uh, more envi <coughs> environmentally friendly or socially friendly uh, investment, being it in clean tech or in uh, pollution reduction mechanisms, is to get access to capital. And the largest uh, givers of capital today are institutional investors, pension funds, uh, hedge funds, mutual funds, insurance companies. And uh, we know very little about what drives these investors to engage in acting with corporate social responsibility. That means caring about the environment, caring about labor rights, human rights, and especially a green economy, which is the topic uh, here. So what we propose to do in this project is basically three issues. I'm gonna be very brief. First, try to measure the sustainability footprint, but footprint in a positive way, so it means the sustainability impact of those institutional investors. You can think about that as a rating, a very low impact sustainable investor versus a very high 
uh, environmentally friendly uh, institutional investor. Then we would like to understand what drives these institutional investors. If you think about clean tech, what are the motivation, the psychological, the economic incentives that would drive institutional investors to be more engaged than today in financing less pollution, clean water, and more socially uh, productive investments in uh, companies. And then, because uh, when we talk about finance, unfortunately, people always care about money and profitability, we would like to see if uh, there is a positive correlation and even a causality between having more finance environmentally friendly investments and risk adjusted performance. And we hope to demonstrate that there is a causa causality, sorry, causality, so that if you have more sustainable investments, this also leads to greater performance in the long term. So that's basically what we would like to do. And I'll leave it now to Bern to present the last, oops, just one second, one second. What are we talking about? Microfinance, microfinance, what does it belong, what, how does it belong to sustainable finance, microfinance, double bottom line, sustainable finance, triple bottom line. Double bottom line, profit and social impact, triple bottom line, profit, social impact, impact on the environment. What is the problem? Too small scale. We've got three bottlenecks in the countries in the south. Households, enterprises usually do not necessarily pick up on loans that help them to switch to environmentally <coughs> safe energy sources. Well, I'm not even... <laughs> You didn't even get the solution, the solution, the expected solution. But anyway, okay. 